Hey people, so I'm gonna go through this whole project for you start to finish now. I know a lot of us have already started and have done a lot of this stuff, but just for the good of the cause, I'm going to kind of restart and go through all of the project requirements, even some of the new ones or all of them. So project requirements are minimum six images composited with masks. So five layers need to have the, a mask minimum. Uh, keep the masks on your layers. So the scissors mask icon should appear like these over here all have those little scissors uh, and you need to show a shape mask a brush mask uh, wand the lasso uh, show me hard and soft edges uh, brightness contrast adjustment which is new I'll go over that today and then just a blend mode which you should know how to do just changing the blend mode and you're using all this stuff to artistically composite a surreal landscape use your eye for design knowledge and skill of you know what looks good and good craftsmanship. So this is kind of like my quick example. Um, I'm not sure I like the horizon edge right here, but that's that's kind of the nature of this. Sometimes you get images in here and they don't really work the way you thought they were gonna work and you might have to change some things and, or even just swap out an entirely new image. So uh, let's just start over. Like I said, I was going to do sample surreal landscape. Full HD, hit create. This is like my new composition right here. Can we move this one over? No. So anyways, I uh, went ahead and I actually just opened a bunch of stock images right from stock search. So if you go to stock search and then let's see. Oh. This one looks kind of nice. So when you do this in PhotoP, it's gonna open your stock images in another tab. You can see like these are all my tabs that I already pre-opened just to save us a little bit of time. So um, you basically have to like cut from one tab and then go back to the tab uh, for your project and uh, paste it in. So I'm just, you know, each one of these, I'm going edit, cut or edit, copy and copy and then go back to your project and go edit, paste. Now they're just coming in as, as layers. So what we're done with this one, we can get this one, Command C, Command V. That one's done. Command C, Command V. So again, I'm just copying layers and putting them into my project. Now I have all of these layers that I can work with and I'm about to start adding masks to them. Last one. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. All right. So you don't have to do this this way where you stick all the images in all at once. Uh, usually I just work with like one at a time. But um, yeah, if you did put a bunch of these in, sometimes it helps just like turn them off. Was I, I was thinking about using this one, right, with the sky and uh, quickly just like removing the the sky and replacing it with the galaxy. So again, this is all about masking. You have to use the mask tool. I wanna see the mask icon in your layers palette. So hit the mask tool, and then I'm just gonna use the magic wand tool um, and click on the background, because I'm, I'm removing from mask. That's the add to masks. Make sure I'm removed from mask and click, and it'll click away. It's not gonna do the best job ever. You know, I have like a little bit of these extra little artifacts in here and even in here that didn't quite make it. So uh, I did a pretty good job at getting the all the sky, but I do have to clean it up with uh, just a brush. So I'm gonna use a brush and remove all this other stuff. Brush a little bit bigger. Word shortcut for your brush size uh, are those Alligator brackets, the greater than, less than symbols. So if that's less than, makes it smaller, greater than, makes it bigger. All right, so you gotta, again, clean up the selections from, from the magic wand tool, because it doesn't always work very good well. Like you can see around my mountains, it's selected a bit too much, and then it's gives me these like leftover pixels that I don't want. Um, and then you gotta paint back in, you know, the, the parts that it accidentally selected. So 
I think my brush a little bit smaller and get a little bit tighter in there. It helps like zoom in. So you know you can use a navigator window up here. And the hand is a space bar, right? And then of course switches and you get too much. So this is does take a little bit of extra effort. Try to add maybe a little bit of this back in. I don't like that. All right. And this is bothering me. Take your time, make good masks. All right. So that's that's one I did with the wand. I'm going to label it wand mask just so I don't forget. All right. And then uh, what is this? This one. All right. So now I have a galaxy and mountains. So let's see, I need a shape mask. So let's put that one up here. Actually, I'm going to turn that off for a second. And my idea was to just make a shape mask of the, the boat. So I'm on this new layer with the boat and I'm going to, with the scissors tool, again, it's all about the masks, but this time we're just gonna put our shape mask in. We need to make sure I have a circle. This is when you can choose a feather if you want, if you want a hard, a soft edge, I'm gonna just, use a really hard edge for these and I'm going to add to the mask try to draw a nice big circle around this boat and center it there we go all right so that's my shape mask it's my wand mask let's move the shape mask whoops don't want to select that. So if it's ever doing this where you know you can't select what you want, you're gonna have to like lock the layer in the layers uh, option. Lock it. And, oh no, wait, that's not the one I want to lock. I want to unlock that one, and I want to lock this one. There we go. Now I should be able to move this guy over. All right, nice and centered. Um, let's see what else I have this road. Let's pull this road up. So my idea for this was to just lasso select the road uh, or lasso mask the road. So uh, make sure that's selected, hit the mask cutout tool and this time I'm just going to do the lasso. This time let's do a feather because you need to show soft and, and hard edges anyway. So I'm just going to keep it, let's see what 60, 70 looks like. And I'm just going to add to the mask and I'm just going to cut out the road. I guess you could do it the other way if you're removing from the mask and then you lasso everything around the road. But let me try it this way. I'm just adding to the mask uh, just this road. I'm going to give it like a little bit of extra room because I have that feather on it. Go outside. So I just basically drew out my selection. And you can see this nice soft edge, it's kind of fuzzy. And it, it got a lot of the road. Might actually remove a little bit more. Yeah. So fine tune these little adjustments. You know, you, you are an artist and you control the materials to make it the way you want it. All right, so that looks kind of okay to me. Let me see if that's centered. It doesn't really look centered. Let's try it there. Okay. All right, so this was lasso. Lasso mask. Soft edge. So we have lasso, wand, shape. Uh, we have a background. And, oh, I wanted to put these cactuses in somewhere. Oh, well, so these have like all these little divots and dips. Uh, it's, it's probably easiest if I mask it with the, the wand. So not this wand. Again, you're going to mask it. So use the scissors. And then up top here is the wand. Remove from mask. Let's see. I'm going to uncheck continuous so it gets in these little, little creases. I'm going to click. Oh, that did really well. Oh, got this stuff. Some of this stuff. 
sometimes like you can't necessarily see like the little leftover pixels. What I'd like to do is just add a blank layer and fill it with like purple or a bright color. And then if you put it underneath, see now you can see like all the little bits that it accidentally selected. Like in here, all these little pixels are pink because the lasso accidentally selected it. So in that case, what I can do is I can go back to this mask or this layer and continue to edit the mask. I'm just gonna brush it back in, add to the mask. I should be able to like brush this stuff back in. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, but it's craftsmanship. I have to zoom in. Don't be afraid to zoom in. Goes back. Don't be afraid to use the navigator to move around and the hand tool. That's what it's there for. Let's get this. All these little pixels are all over the place. Okay. I keep trying to use keyboard shortcuts from a different program. Okay. So hopefully you get the idea, you have to like clean up what the magic wand tool does. With the brush tool or even the lasso tool. All right. I keep finding them, they're all over. Look at all of them, I'm make my brush bigger. All right. Hopefully you get the idea. That doesn't look too terrible. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna just maybe make this all the way down at the bottom. This layer I don't need. It's only to like identify bits of the lasso that I didn't get. All right, so let's maybe move this thing around and try to place it. I'm gonna make it smaller. What if I put it underneath the road? That looks okay, right? I kind of like that. I might put something something else in there too. But uh, let's let's do it on both sides. So you know, you use a duplicate layer, duplicate layer. Done. Let's move this over here. Done. Now I have two layers of masks. Anyways, uh, let's put wand mask. Go and this one again. Layer options, come on. There we go. Wand mask. Right. So let's see what else we have. Oh, we have this little city. Let's move him up. Okay. Let's see, where can I put him? I think I'm gonna try to get like the city between the mountains and my cactuses. So let's see. Um, I think I'm probably just gonna use like the brush tool and make like a fuzzy top to this. Let's see how that works. I might have to, to make some adjustments later, but I'm going to, on this one, so we need a brush mask. Get the mask and then draw a mask, remove from mask. I'm just going to make a nice, huge, but very soft brush. Paint away my sky. Get, make sure you get everything. So, Again, those soft brushes and those feathered edges uh, do really well for kind of blending different parts into each other without that like sharp, abrupt edge. I mean, sometimes it's nice to have that sharp, abrupt edge. Uh, and then sometimes it's, you know, kind of annoying. Like if it, if it was like super soft or hard in this, like that doesn't look right at all, even if it was masked the other way. Like that edge doesn't look right. It's not gonna blend nice. So 
you know, you have to use your brain power and um, make judgments as to when's a good time to use a soft edge, when's a good time to use a hard edge. So let's go back and soften it up. All right. Now let's try to move it around. I'm going to put it between my cactuses and my mountain. Where is my mountain? Is that on? Barely. Can I move it up? Select it? No, we probably can't because everything else is in the way. Um, oh, and it's locked. So let's unlock mountains. I'm probably going to have to move that down anyway. So where is where is this? I'm going to have to lock this thing. Lock you. Move that down a little bit. And I'm trying to move my mountains up a little bit. Ah, I keep selecting the wrong thing. So again, just lock it. If it's if you're selecting the wrong thing or the wrong layer, you can't select the layer you want. If you go into the layer options and lock it, lock the one that you don't want to get selected so that you can select the one you do want. Okay. Um, I see this line came up from, is it this one, right? Okay, so I probably have to unlock it so I can edit it. Unlock it and then go back to the mask. Use the brush. Oh, remove from mask. Yeah, we go. Make it nice and big. Maybe I'll make it a little bit harder just to grab all that stuff. Okay, I'm not sure. If I 100% uh, like what's going on, I might like try to make some little adjustments to what this one, right? Where's the mask tool? I'm brushing it. Add to the mask. So I'll put some of these buildings back in. The soft brush. If you're like switching back and forth to add to, it's just shift. I can see a little bit more of it. All right. So what was that? That was the brush mask. Let's put this brush mask. Brush mask. Let's see what we have. We have... One, two, three, four, five, six players with masks. We have a lasso mask, more than one wand mask, a brush mask, another wand mask, a shape mask. Um, what else do we need? Let's check minimum requirements. We have a shape, we have a brush, wand, lasso. We have all hard and soft edges, uh, brightness, contrast, oh, and a blend mode. Okay. So we're like almost done. Um, so yeah, we got all of our different masks. They're still here uh, with the scissors icon. And like I said, you need to show a lasso, a wand, a brush, and a shape mask. There's also like the gradient mask and you can kind of play with that if you wanted to. Uh, here, let's see, just to show you. Like if you had an image. Uh, here, let's just get another. Stock search. What are you going to do? Ocean. Hmm. All right, so I got some leaves here. Let's see if we put them in. Okay, apply. All right, I'm gonna cut it from here, paste it in here. Let's delete this for right now. All right, so real quick, I guess I'll just bonus show you 
cutout mask tool with the gradient. You basically just like click and drag and make a gradient. And then that's basically it. Just trying to get like the water, yeah, to like fade out to there. It's kind of neat, right? Let's turn it upside down though. Surrealism. And maybe put it right there. Ooh. Let's transform it. Edit, free transform. Let's scoot this up a little bit. That would be nice if like the horizon line matched. Okay, so anyways, that was the uh, gradient mask tool. You are allowed to use that as well. Yes. All right. So the other two things that you got to do are uh, uh, add the brightness and contrast adjustment. So let's just go back to where's that water thing right here. Okay. So this is my water. I'm going to actually, I'm going to uh, use the brightness contrast on my city. So this is my city. I'm just gonna change the brightness and the contrast on it. Uh, so, so select the layer that you wanna add a brightness contrast adjustment to, uh, and you, it's right here under adjustments, brightness contrast, and it does exactly what it says. It, you can change the brightness, and you can change the contrast. So it's up to you, you kind of like use your eyeballs and uh, use these sliders back and forth to make something that looks good. And I think it looks better a little bit darker, but with up to contrast a little bit. Hit OK. Apply. So that's just an adjustment. Uh, I bet you these mountains would look good with the same thing. So adjustment, brightness, contrast. You can like try these other ones too and play around with the adjustments. They only affect one layer. So. Just like up my contrast and my maybe keep brightness kind of normal. Okay, hit apply. So that is a requirement. You need to add an adjustment to uh, at least one of your layers. You can even help. That's both wrong. Press adjustment. All right, last one uh, is just a blend mode. So where's my ocean? It's right here. Okay. So basically just click the layer that you think you might want to add a blend mode to and hit those three little dots. And here's the blend modes. So you can try multiply. That doesn't look bad. Screen. So again, you got to just use your eyes and pick one that you think looks good. Oh, that's ugly. That's not that great. That's not. What I want, erase, no, don't use alpha or erase. Kind of liked the ones up here. Overlay looks good. Screen, no, that's a little too dark. Lighten, I'm not sure. I think multiply might be the best one. No, I changed my mind. Overlay is. Okay, there you go. Uh, I think I covered everything. Uh, again, like one more time, we have a uh, minimum six images composited with masks. I wanna see masks on at least five layers. So when you I open your image, you see one, two, three, four, five of those little scissors. Uh, shape mask, brush mask, wand mask, lasso mask, hardened soft edges, right? We have all those different masks that we used. And this is a hard edge right here. There's all kinds of fuzzy edges all around my, <laughs> excuse me, my city. I almost said sky for some reason. Um, and then brightness contrast adjustment and a blend mode, artistically composited surreal landscape. My adjustment was on, well, that was my blend mode, right? And this was the one I put adjust, an adjustment on this one and this one. Hope that helps. Hope it's not com too confusing.